Todoist versus Monday.com. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I am going to be comparing Todoist.com with Monday.com and we'll figure out which one of these platform is better for you to use for your everyday task management and for your project management. So let's get started. At first, what we will do is we will compare these platforms. We will compare their pricing and different features that we get. So let's start with todoist.com before i get into the different features of todoist let's check out the pricing plan for todoist.com so you have a better idea about the affordability of the platform so what you have to do is you will simply go to todoist.com and you will land on their website uh, their website is amazing and todoist is a project management software that allows you to manage your everyday task and to plan your week or your month better and get more more productive to check out the pricing plan i have opened up the pricing plan of todoist so we have three plans right here the first one is a free plan for starters and it is zero dollars forever and we get five active projects we get five mb file uploads and three filters as well so this is the free plan that we are going to get then we have a pro plan which is going to be three dollars per user per month built annually and four dollars if built monthly then we have a business plan which is going to be five dollars per user per month and six dollars if built monthly so we get a lot of different features we have team billing we have team inbox we have priority sports reminders 100 MB storage and then the storage increases of course the features will increase with the pricing so if we look at the pricing of Todoist then it's really really cheap you can see right here this is just like five dollars and three dollars for the uh, you know business and pro plan so now let's check out the different features we get in Todoist and then we'll go to monday.com and we'll see what are the differences between monday.com and Todoist so once you sign up for Todoist, the sign-up process is really, really easy. All you have to do is you will simply sign up with your email address or you can simply sign up with your Google account. Once you do that, you will have your own Todoist dashboard. This is my dashboard right here. Now, Todoist is really simple platform for everyday use and you can also use it for your work. It has very basic features and allows you to manage and create different tasks so this is the inbox option in inbox i will be able to check all of my different tasks that i have created according to different dates then we have a today uh, today means every task that is due today i can simply add new task into this list as well then we have an upcoming view which is the calendar view in here we can actually add you know different tasks according to different dates and they will be shown in today when the date will arrive then we have the project option in project we create different projects and then each project has different task and different list so let's create a new project simply click right here and i'm gonna go ahead and name it uh, digital explained i already have a project named digital explained so i'm going to call it digital explained 2 there you go now i have to select the color for my project it helps us get more organized so i'm going to go for a yellow color right here then we have the view what kind of view you want to go for you want to go for a list view or you want to go for a board view. So I'm going to go for a board view because I personally prefer board view and it really helps me kind of like get everything uh, very easily and it's good for easy access. So I'm going to go for a board view, click on add and you can see right here now I have my new project named as digital explained too. So the next step is going to be adding different sections. Different section means different list and each section will have its own task. So I'm going to click on this section. Let's call it to do. There you go. Click on add section. Now I'm going to go ahead and click right here. Add another one, which is going to be in progress. Let's add another one and it is going to be completed. There you go. So now I have three sections right here to do in progress and completed let's add different task let's call it task one click on add task 
task two and task three there you go so now i have added three tasks in my to-do list let me show you what we can actually do with a task when we create it simply click on task right here so it will open up this small window for us so we have task one now i can go ahead and add a schedule if i want to so i will simply you know add different dates let's say this is tomorrow then i can go for comments we have different labels i have created two labels urgent and editing required so i'm going to go for editing required and urgent both of these then we have the priority you can go for priority p1 p2 or p3 and then we have a reminder option as well uh, that will allow you to add reminders then we have copy link to task we have add comments via email and rename task and delete task option right here so once you are done with the task you know you have added all the information you can also add subtask into your task right here once you're done simply close the window and you can see right here this one is added right here now i can move any task if i want to super easy to do simple drag and drop you can simply you know check if you are done with a task and it will be moved to the completed section and you will know that your task has been completed so this is how todoist.com works now let's check out monday.com and let's see how we can use monday and what are the differences between monday and todoist so i have signed up for monday.com right here let's check out the pricing plan for monday.com really quickly so you have an idea about the affordability of the platform so this is the pricing plan for monday.com we have an individual plan which is zero dollars free forever we have up to two seats and we have different uh, you know features unlimited boards unlimited documents and different templates then we have a basic plan which is going to be eight dollars uh, per member per month and 24 dollars if built monthly and these also have different you know features then we have a standard plan which is ten dollars pro plan which is $16 and then an enterprise so if we check out the pricing for monday.com it is of course uh you know a little expensive than to do is because the pricing plan of to do is is really really cheap but monday has a you know a little expensive pricing plan than to do is but the features on monday are actually upgraded on monday.com and we get different features on monday.com the major difference between monday.com and todoist is that todoist is a task manager right and you can actually manage your everyday task and it's really simple while monday.com is really professional and it has a lot of other options as well such as crm it has creative it has marketing options it has email marketing it has project management so it's like all in one one platform with a lot of lot of different tools and a lot of different features so to do this is really really simple another difference which is a major difference between monday.com and to do this is that to do this is good for individual use and for personal use for small businesses while monday.com is for large businesses and it can really help you automate your uh you know business and you can run a very you know big business with monday.com and you can actually create different teams so it is kind of like more professional and upgraded than to do is how to use monday.com simply go to monday.com the signing up process is really easy you simply sign up with your google account or your email address once you have signed up for monday.com this is where you will land you can see right here you can create different workspaces so i have created this workspace which is my main workspace on monday.com right now i can actually switch between uh, my workspaces as well i can create different boards you can see right here i have two boards right now start from the scratch board and i have a marketing strategy board so this is the board that i created if i want to add a new section uh into my this board right here i can add an item i can add column groups and in column i can actually add different statuses right here we can get different integrations on monday.com and integrations really really help you automate your business better so for my marketing strategy 
strategy board you can actually rename your board right here um you know i can call it whatever i want to so i have kind of like given it a name marketing strategy then we have the timeline option we have a filter personal search we can invite different people from here and then we have automate option as well so this is like the basic you know use of monday.com if you want to change a status simply click right here and i can actually add any status if i want to if i want to add the time you simply click on set dates and then you can simply set dates of your project whatever project you are doing if you want to add a new item simply click on item right here and then you will simply add um, anything let's call it test item one and then i can just simply add any label into it and what's done and then i can add a date whatever i want to do so we get a lot of different features on monday.com that help us automate our business and that really helps us manage our team better and we can also use monday.com for personal use so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know the difference between monday.com and todoist don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel